the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Merigold. Never come back, you stinking stadges! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth! in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? The local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Lean it at me! Hey, Come on, come closer. Oh, reminds me of a piece of war. Yeah, it's almost like we never left Berg. Oh, don't clap, you freak. Ah, please. Can't my friend. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Ciri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. 
Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. From the finest vineyards, every last one. Oh, aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot, I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning calls. Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Heriwind himself did the honors, and the feast afterwards, to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel, and I... Uh, ugh, another time. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry? Five cases of sodden triple mead? Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Huh, <laughs> dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. 
Keep out of this, Clayhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. Alright. So, let's see if you're a good bargain, or just cheap shit. Thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And? No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. 
Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Dockside Thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment. Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. By tomorrow, I'll be better than yesterday. Ah, I'm lollygagging. Arms for the poor. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Sorry. Can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children, sadly the Ratcatcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a Witcher, who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... Yeah! This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecturers? You shouldn't listen to everything people say about... It means they go to sleep early. Oh! So that's why Mum went to tuck that witcher in. Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? No, it's not true. He's a liar. He ain't a liar. Witches don't lie. They can lie because they're not knights. 
When you've got to kill a dragon, you summon a knight. But if there's a zoogling in the trash heap, the knight won't want to go, so you've got to call a witcher. Enough! That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. <laughs> Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came! Oh, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. So please do tell me, why are you here? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes, longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No, he perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm, maybe? No, won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold, that was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. You're stupid. That's as good as a witch of Who says so? Everybody knows it. Mum says everything. This Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I feel your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. Baroness fired her? Quite the contrary. Molly decided she no longer wished to serve. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Lata? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Think I can find my own way to the Vagelbud home. Very well. Perhaps I can convince you to join me later at the races. I shall keep an eye out for you. Oh, no. 
lollygagging. A woman once, long ago. I was willing to give me right hand for her. Faster. You managed to find the place. Not that hard. It's not exactly a small concealed hovel. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Yeah. Grey's a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Hmm, why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. Chestnut looks promising. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. Riders ready! Don't spare the horse! Well, well. Move it! Come on, Witcher! 
Let's see what you're made of. I adore the speed, the rush of air. Let's see what you're made of! I adore the speed, the rush of air! The roach I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional! I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. That is yours. Ah, look! Lady Latar has just arrived! Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I should be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Who do you favor, my lady? Can't decide between the Black Stallion and the Grey Mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets and other such... What's it? Congregations. Awful tiring, all this. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realise Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? Oh, no. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go. I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go.
And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Takes the pains all the way to the garden. We crossed the yard. Did you catch him? Crossed the pond no, no. as well. What do you want? Want to see Rosa Varatra? Oh, mate! If you only knew what I want, Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a Witcher. As soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. We crossed the Yara, we will cross the Ponta as well. Just a bit more and I'll drop this job. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Yes. What's he doing here? One false move and you will regret it.
Duty calls. Hey, keep your distance. Frank, we, we ain't looking the yard, for no we witcher. Crossed the Pontar as well. I bid you a cool farewell. I'm listening, Sarah. Fancy men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain. Do you truly believe Rosa Bar Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Hope you realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the face. Follow me. Instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. Rat 
Get it! You're quick! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Fight! Damn it! Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking for... A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Sorry, gotta say no. Schedule's packed just now. As you wish. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Var Atra the greatest mischief-maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well? Can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. House here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs>